about the beginning of beginnings. One thing that you must understand tonight is that there are three significant and important days of a person in a life of human people. Three important ordained days of a person. I want you to understand that, don't be confused. Three important significant days that God has ordained for a person in a life. The first day that is very important in a person's life is the day of birth. The day a person is born is very significant and important in life. The day you are born is very important. Not the day you buy a powerful house, but the day you are born is very important. Then secondly, the day you find your purpose on why God has allowed you to be born is the second important day in a person's life. Then the third day that is very important is the day that a person dies. These are three important and significant days of a person's life. When a person is celebrated into the world, it's very important, significant, and it's a prophetic day. And the day you find your purpose on why God has created you is the most important day as well. And the day you die is the most important day. That's why the Bible says, you come to me and say we've prophesied, we've viewed people, we've made money during our day, days in the world, and I'll say I've never known you. Why? Because you missed your purpose. So what is going to make you to be prophetic and apostolic before God is when you get to a place where you realize your purpose. The reason why God has created you. Then when you are dealing with a year, the most important days in a year is the first day of the year. Then the day you find a purpose in a particular year and the day that that year comes to an end. So the most important day of 2019 was the 1st of January. And the second important day is the day you found your purpose for 2019. And the last day important, that is the third important day, is today. Where we are marking the end of 2019, where angels and God are asking and saying, what have you accomplished for 2019? Because when God is giving you a year, He's not giving you a year so that you may struggle. He doesn't give you a year so that you may cry. A year that is given or provided to people by God is for you to jubilate. That's why He said in the book of Jeremiah, I know the thoughts that I have for you. Thoughts not to harm you, thoughts of peace, thoughts of life. So the day you realize what God is called you for in a particular year is the most important day. Glory be to Jesus. Tell your neighbor that you know. So as we end up tomorrow or two hours from today, you are going to start a generation that was never started. Glory be to Jesus. If there were cases that were speaking against your life from 2019 backwards, God is saying tonight, Sonny, tell my people that they are going to start a generation of people that will be carrying mantles, people that are going to be smart academically, people that are going to be smart in the areas of business. 2020 is an apostolic year, a year that is going to come with a double anointing, double power, double glory. Glory be to Jesus. So I want you to understand why number 20. 20 is a number that we call a cardinal number. When you are dealing with a cardinal number, a cardinal number is a pivotal number. It's a number that joins two numbers. So when you are dealing with a number that is pivotal or cardinal, it's a number that is crucial. So as you enter 2020, you are dealing with a cardinal number. You are connecting the generation to come in the generation that was net that was not there so you are going to stand as a p40 to connect two generations but as an individual god is going to release an anointing and oil in which if you are going to work in that oil there is a generation that are going to start alone 
God is going to present it in your hands. So it's a year that when you enter it, I want you to enter it with a spiritual awareness that as I enter 2020, it's not about New Year only, but it's a new dispensation. It's a new ticket. It's a new realm that God is entering you into. Glory be to Jesus. So when God created in the book of Genesis chapter 1, subsection 1, 